Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to repair threads on a Herco machine. This is a tapered thread that I've already cut on the machine, and I just smashed it with a hammer <laughs> there to uh, simulate you no know, damage. So I'm going to take it, load it on the machine. And the first thing I'll do is set my part offset. I'm just going to do that just by, you know, I have Dicom on the, on the bar. I'm going to turn on the spindle, come up, and touch it until I take some Dicom off. Alright, so I'll hit part setup. And right here, my Offset one, I'll just hit store machine position. It's going to ask me to enter the tool I use to set that offset. So I'll hit tool one, that's what I use, I'll just hit OK. Turn off the spindle. Now I have to change to the threading tool that I want to use to, re to actually repair the thread, which is tool five. Uh, set active tool to tool number five. Alright, so now I'm actually ready to go into my program and set the positions for the thread repair block, which basically we, all we have to do is drag the threading tool into a good thread and then store positions within a threading block. So if I hit my review button, this first block is going to be profile turn, which is my taper, or actually a face, and then profile two, which is a taper, and then profile three, which is a heavy chamfer on the end of the part. Um, then we have the actual thread repair block, and then another finish pass to run after we repair the thread. So if I go into this thread repair block by double clicking it, it looks exactly like our normal threading block, but there's a new tab called repair. So what this is, is this is uh, all the parameters I need to define this, this thread, including uh, the Z start, Z end, which you'd use just like a normal threading block, and then the major and minor diameter and the tapering. Um, once you put all those in, you're ready to hit repair. And this is where it asks you to drag the tool into a good thread. And uh, then the next thing is store reference point. So that's what I'll do. I'll drag my threading tool into a good thread. And uh, it can help use a die light or uh, rotate the spindle while you're doing this to kind of try to get the threads to line up with your threading tool. Um, the larger the part, the more difficult it's going to be because it's harder to turn the spindle though. But just try to get it in there as best as you can and uh, it's all going to depend on how well you set this position. So if your threads are off in any way, it's because this wasn't dead on with the pitch of the thread. Um, since the part's been out, that's what's controlling where the thread's at on the part. So once I've lined that up, I'm just going to hit store reference points. And then, and then I'll move down and I'll say jog to a safe start position before starting the repair cycle. So once you go to this repair tab, everything else is just like a normal threading block. Once you go to the repair tab, if you just follow these prompts from top to bottom, um, you'll, you'll be alright. So you just jog the tool into a good thread, and then once you do that, you hit the store the reference point positions button. And then after that, jog the safe start position before starting cycle. So that's what I'll do now is I'll jog this out, X positive. We'll go auto, run program.
doing the cleanup pass, uh, normally you'd have, you know, weld on the thread or something like that to try to build the thread back up. Now it's changing tools to the threading tool and it should come in and repair the thread. Um, you can set it up to take multiple passes and, and you know, just the same way you do a normal thread, just in the process tab. Um, really, it's pretty simple to do. Now after I repair the thread, it's doing one final finish pass. Now if I look at this part, before it was all covered in uh, dye, down in the bottom of the threads, now you can see it's all cleaned up. All the hammered marks, are, they're still there, but it's, it's clear enough for to be a usable thread. So, there you go.